Possum Patty here. Good morning. It is September 19th and it's very cool. Definitely sweater or hoodie or fleece morning. It was in the 40s when I woke up this morning and I'm getting in the fall decorating mode. It is about three days to the autumnal equinox. I'm going to snip something and bring it inside to paint because it's just a little bit too cool outside for me right now. I'm walking over to this old tree stump because, I see those mushrooms are still there. They've been here for a few days now. First they looked like little buttons with fat stems and now they've kind of grown up and the caps have opened up and the slugs have been eating them. So they've changed in shape quite a bit since they first popped up, but they're still here. I'm calling them my magic mushrooms because I don't know what they are. And there's a harvestman on there. This is a Japanese beauty berry bush that I planted next to the house. And just look at the color of these berries. Aren't those gorgeous? I'm just looking around in this sunny spot that's between the sand mound Woods are down there in the wood pile. This is the area where the bittersweet nightshade is growing and the berries are turning red. Wow, that group down there really looks like cherry tomatoes, don't they? And this group's just turning red. I like when they're Green, orange, red, different shades of red. Very colorful. And the ferns are really turning yellow. And these rushes are making seeds. Rushes have very, well this kind of rush has very smooth round stem. And then where the flowers were, now there's seeds. If you kind of rub it, the little things will start flying away in the breeze. And here's the sedges. Now the sedges have edges. Find a stem down here. Kind of like three pointy sides on the sedge. And they're making their seeds. And there's a moth. I'm just walking around and I came across this really red tiny shrub growing here. I don't know what it is, but it's very colorful right now. Over here next to the boulders, next to the sand mound, the uh, little white aster, or small white aster, I think this is, is blooming. And there's a little bit of a buzz in the air. The sun has warmed up some of these pollinators enough so that they're out here in the sunny spot on the flat top goldenrod, I think that is, and the small white asters. Look how pretty the goldenrods are. Lots of buzzing.
We still have some blooms on the New York ironweed. Some pollinators over here. Tom made a new wall on this side of the sand mound and I bought a couple of flowers. There's a Gallardia and a Daisy. And this is a green-eyed Rubecchia, like a green-eyed Susan. And some more daisies and some more green eyes. Isn't that pretty? And a red Gallardia or blanket flower, they call it. Behind the house, I have a winterberry holly. Now this is different than the usual holly that you see for Christmas. This one is deciduous. The leaves fall off in the winter, but the berries stay on. And this is the female plant. And it has lots and lots of red berries. I think later on in the winter, the birds will come and eat these. I saw uh, bluebirds on this bush last winter. And this is the male winterberry holly tree. It gets flowers that pollinate the female, but it does not get any berries because it's the male. It pollinates and then its work is done while the female bush does all the work in making the berries. We have a couple more dead trees that will be coming down in a few days. We'd like to get them down before the winter storms come. It's breezy and the reeds just really help clear the sky. You know, all week it was kind of gray and smoky from the California fires. But looking good now. Are you thinking about your spring flowers yet? Well, the rhododendron are. They make these really protective tight buds with these green scales on them. And then in the spring, that'll open up and be a beautiful flower. Out the kitchen window this morning, I saw one squirrel return. You know, we had about nine or ten of them, and then they all disappeared. They fattened up on my sunflower seeds, and then they took off. But this morning, out the kitchen window, I saw one returned. And it was busy over here. It had something in its mouth. I wonder if they all took off to bury their nuts for the winter. Because the hickory nuts and the acorns are coming down now. A little mushrooms popping up over here. Some little mushrooms popping up over here. Looks like the squirrel opened up a nut while he was sitting on this rock. And here's another nutshell on the ground. And here's some more mushrooms. And some hickory nutshells. After my short chilly walk around the yard, I sketched a few of the colorful sights. I started with this little twig that I snipped while I was outside. I think this is a blueberry bush. But the leaves were such a pretty reddish purple. I put that in first. And then I sketched one of the very large yellow green-eyed Susans, Rubecchias, a little sprig of those lavender purple Japanese beauty berries, some of the red winter holly berries, and the slug eating the mushroom. After I did the sketch, I put one layer of watercolors from my old watercolor set on top. 
And now I'm going to pop out the colors by adding some watercolor markers. Some of these markers are Le Plume 2 by Marvy, and some of these are Tombows. These markers are activated with water, just like the watercolor pencils. So if you put a little color Then take a wet brush as you can see the Tombow markers give the leaves a little more depth of color and dimension I think now I'm going to maybe finish up the winterberry holly berries and leaves do this stem and then maybe I'll work on the green-eyed Rubecchia. Well, I finished off my page with my Tombow markers on top of my watercolors. And now it's extra special colorful. My brilliant red high bush blueberry leaves. Some red winterberry holly berries and green leaves. A giant yellow green eyed Susan Rubecchia. My lavender Japanese beauty berries. And a slug on a mushroom. And I made a sparkly slime trail for my slug because I do find glitter and sparkles in nature. So thanks for coming along today. Happy nature journaling. Bye-bye.